Is it going to be a sunny day or is it going to be a wet day? Wet. Sometimes when you've got a white piece of paper, it can be a bit daunting. So if you throw some, first of all, dirty water on it. So if we turn that board slightly on its end, like that, it's still going to drop vertically. But that's going to give us the wind, because when we obviously turn the paper back the other way, it's going to appear as if the wind's picking up the people and moving it across. So, right, we want a storm, let's have a storm. <laughs> so the water, the, the pigment can't travel down through that area now because I've just sucked the moisture out of the paper with the, um, the bit of cloth. Get a land mass in, a distant land mass, one that's a long way away. With an area, now let's put, let's make, this could be something that's way off now. Here we're going to have a, a farm sled or something. <coughs> Some farm buildings are just there, and there's going to be a path. All I'm doing is picking up these dribble lines. And they could be, could be a harvest. Now it should take your eye into this area of the, of the subject. And it might be that... Now that is already suggesting to me a dry stone wall. And all it's done is move the pigments away to expose the next layer. But again, you can only do it with wet pigment. Those marks just suggest a tractor mark. I think that's about it. Okay.